Oh man, they're killing me, man. Right. So most of sign language in corner. Yeah. Is that, like, is that that black fellow off uh, Nelson Mandela's no. obituary? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, like late, like late night TV, and there's a little signer in corner. I want to be that signer. I want to sign the show. <laughs> That's like <Blake and> correct. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> right. Um, game reviews. <laughs> We're swiftly moving on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're, we're going to the London 16, Warrington 44. 16-14 uh, at half time, but London actually got off to a real good start. 16-6 up. Uh, and then second half just totally capitulated. Some very sloppy plays, some some loose passes, interception tries. Uh, Reese Evans probably scored the easiest four tries I've ever scored in his life. Well, I can believe what I saw. He's, he scored four tries. Well, it, the the were literally fall overs, but you know, in full credit, it's all, you know, for the winger, it's about being in the right place at the right time. So it's he's put him up there as up, up, up in the top is side he, scoring. Is he the blonde one? Yes. Because he played for Swinton against Halifax first game of the season, and he was terrible, absolutely terrible. There you go. Just saying. What does anybody think of Riley going on loan? I was quite surprised. I think he's a good what. Riley's on loan at Wakey. No way. He's yeah. a right player. Yes, it's good for Wakey. Is that? I think he's. I think he's a good. Bish and Riley have wings. Yeah, they're looking at Bish, aren't they? I don't know. He's, he's on loan. He's on loan. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's, he's not. He, he's they've a... made an inquiry about it, so oh. not, it's nothing in final. Is it, you know, I think it would be foolish for for Leeds to let him go. Uh, but you know, he, he, he wants some game time. So you, you're surprised they're not rotating him. Yeah, I, th I think you know. You, when you've got, you know, Bish is, is just as good as Zach, uh, and Zach can play centre, you know, and, and when you've got that luxury of being able to rotate players and, and keeping everything fresh, uh, you know, because it is a long season, so, you know, so for me, it would be, you know, it would be wise to to, to get him out there and, and rotate the system, and, you know, we, we keep on talking about Jamie Peacock, you know, playing a prop for 80 minutes at 36 year old, he, he can do it, but... What about at the end of the season when you know when you need him? When you need you need him firing off cylinders, you know you need to be smart and you need to manage people like that. Right, yeah. <coughs> right, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Uh, Griff, you've got some knowledge on London because your younger brothers there. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. Have you been down to watch him? No, we were play, actually played him. That was the game I injured my knee. In. Did you smash him? Um, no, I didn't get a chance to. Lama got him twice before me. <laughs> Poor bloke was uh, Bambi on ice. Um, lost his legs a couple of times. But so where does he play? What position? He, same as me. He's a middleman. Um, is he? So he's, he's, a big, he's a big cow. He's a big cow as well. Um, he's a great lad. He's got you know uh, got a bit going on for him. But they're doing it tough at the moment. Like we had a similar scoreline to when we were down there. But I just think as the season goes on, um, I've got I've got to commend them. Me and for what they're doing. They're still getting players in all the time. And yeah. I think again, you know, as time goes on, they'll start getting a few results. For me, that's not a bad result, really, against such a quality team uh, in Warrington. I think Warrington probably beat some of the better teams by a similar score, and it's just really they seem to. You think they weren't in the, off the game is I think think they're Warrington of old. They've obviously lost some uh, key players, and I hope on Friday night they're not Warrington of old because we've got them. But um, um, no, I'm I'm going to back London to get a few wins this year, and I still say once they get these few more players that they're after. Hopefully it will take off, don't I? Who do you think is going to go down this year? Oh, I don't know if you put me on this spot. I hope it's not us, that's for sure. He's um, young. Um, no, 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 I think he would. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's going to be pretty close between a few teams. and um, I don't know. Yeah, we just put, put two people on it. <laughs> oh, we all do it. Um, uh, at the moment, obviously, London are going to be favourites, aren't they? And um, but Bradford are racking up some uh, quite surprising. I thought they were going to be, um, you know, with strong issue. But they're, they're you know, you know, the, obviously the uh, the um, belief that you know uh, Franny's sticking into the place there. Uh, believe, believe. Yeah, yeah I think um, you know that they might come through. Wakey is that you know look at the result for men for the weekend, and they will be in pictures being down there as well. So I think it could be between, between a few. Can I we'll ask all three of you now? Can Catalan go down? Oof. So I'm asking you. It'd be a travesty if they did, and uh, I was singing their praises last year because I thought Catalan, in terms of uh, spreading the game, was a real success story, real festival atmosphere. They love it over there in the south of France, and uh, in fact, there's a lot of people talking about um, bringing another French team into it to add to what Catalan have done. Obviously, they've got off to a bad start. I don't think it'll stay like that. But just really quickly, while we're on the subject of putting time and effort and resources into teams, London, a lot of people have, have sort of become disillusioned with London. But you're a southerner, aren't they? Southern fairy. You come from, from Oxford, uh, Cavaliers. So it's, it's an important part of the game. And without Rubber League down south, we wouldn't have had Darryl Giffen. 
Um, some might say that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Shandy? No, definitely don't like Shandy. I've been up here a while now, so I'm an adopted northerner, I'd like to say. so. But no, um, when I was down there, they were pumping loads of money and time and effort into schools, coaching, and some great players come through. And obviously, your Louis McCarthy's cars, but Tony <laughs> Club, and Dance, yeah, yeah you know, lads going to Wigan. So it is working down there. It's just unfortunate they can't seem to keep them all down there that's that's the biggest problem I think they'd have, you know if really if they'd have all stayed down there my, my other brother Josh you know he played a bit of a bleak he could possibly have been down there how's George. he getting on Josh Josh is doing alright he's at Carnegie enjoying himself he, he's playing in a rubbish team isn't he no they're actually really? going pretty well they're up to I'll tell you what I like Hamilton he'll be the little player the uh, number nine yeah. I know him from going out partying <laughs> but he, I mean, he's a good bloke he used to be one of the Habit regulars back in the day. <laughs> well, listening to Josh, you know, they've got a great atmosphere there between. They're quite a young side at Leeds and they've got a great atmosphere. And um, like I say, he's good really coach, himself. Jimmy Laws. Yep. <laughs> 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 through them all, through them all, the time, you boys. Obviously, a division below, but I think they're winning the majority of the games. Yeah, they're winning the league. I don't, I don't know if they're second at the moment, but uh, yeah, they, they were top of the tree, but. It's weird the way the rugby union system works. We'll have the bonus points, and you know, basically, it's a playoff system, uh, and they play home and away as well. So it goes down to aggregate score. So there's not, you know, if you do slip up in one game, you can easily claw it back. Every game in the league games. In, in the playoff games, when oh, it goes yeah. into the playoff system, you have home and away tie for the top six. I think that's or good. Top four or top six. Not hundred percent sure, but yeah. So it's, it stops the the slip up that happens every now and again, and they can get the game back. There's uh, a minute and 50 minutes of air time for Rugby Union. Miles, too much. Let's get back to Rugby Union. Who's next? Who's next? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jones is taking control. <laughs> Moving us on swiftly. Good lad, Jones. In. Well done, Jones. In. We'll move on to St. Ellen's v. Hull KR. Uh, St. Ellen's 38, Hull KR 18. Half time again, 12 12. So these teams are uh, losing, the, losing the plot in the second half. You know, whether it's down to fitness or whatever, I think Luke Walsh has added a lot of direction to the St. Helens team, to the big St. Helens pack. We know they've, they've got a beast of a pack and, and causing some damage out there. Hull still looking for the first win of the season, uh, but the lemon of the week actually goes to the St. Helens team. I don't know if you've seen it, uh, Josh Hodgson that scored their last try, uh, straight from a tap, four metres out, literally just tapped the ball and walked over the try line. It was absolutely disgraceful defence from the St. Helens. They just weren't ready and it, it was like an old amateur amateur tap, you know, where you're just tapping and nobody's ready and he, he just walked over and scored the try. Wow, I've not seen it. I thought, I'll have a look. I think someone's trying to say something. Wait, Brownie, what about that? Uh, yeah, he wouldn't have been happy with that, no. um, even though the game's probably done and dusted by that point. Um, but uh, yeah, he definitely he would have wanted him to play for the full 80 minutes, so knowing Brown, he would have fired a rocket up him for that, but I'm pretty sure he'd be happy with that result as well. Uh, congratulations to Alex Wormsley, who is the player of the month. Can't say it, Jones. It. No, if it's rugby league related, fair yeah. enough, yeah, that's fine. We would have been banned from <laughs> talking about Alex Wormsley and Carl Wormsley, <laughs> <Wormsley, Jones. laughs> but um, he is the player of the month, is he not, Tyler? Would you agree with that? Yeah, is that, a, is that a good move? Is it, is it, he got the award, he got the award in the league weekly. Yeah. Did, and he's got a try this week. Did he? He's yeah. got a try at weekend, yeah. Outstanding. Yeah. Uh, Busted. Uh, I've seen that um, St. Helens have left Eddie Gardner with OKR. Yeah, he's going to OKR on one, aren't he? Yeah, yeah. He's there a little bit injury struck. I think they've lost uh, Odson, haven't they, on the wing, the ginger wing there. Right, I'm not sure. So I think he's injured and they're, they're losing a few injuries, so, you know, it, he can't get in the St. Helens team, so another one that needs to get some game time. Right, moving swiftly on, Mr. Keith. You're <laughs> 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 nasty. I'm not nasty. We're moving on to the uh, Hull FC v Bradford. Hull FC 44, Bradford 16. Uh, this game at half time was, was basically over 32 10 at half time. Uh, Bradford's problems deepening, obviously, you know, the financially in difficulty. Not a big stats man, but I need to, I need to bring in these stats. At half-time, 32-10. Uh, for the metres going forward, Hull was 1,605 metres. Bradford are only 940. So, massive dominance there. Carries, uh, Hull, 209. Uh, Bradford, 153. So, you can just see how much ball that Hull actually had. Tackles 265, 329, breaks 8 to 1. So, so you're not a Stasman, but you are a Stasman. 
No, it's often, it starts to often tell the tale of the game, and, and you can just see there's in this game you can just see there's just total dominance all over the field. You know, it starts like that. Normal, I've, I've looked at the rest of the stats for the rest of the games, and everything's normally an even keel, even though the scorelines have been quite big. This is quite a big score, and it, and it, and it, and it shows with the stats and on just how dominant the whole team were. That said, Bradford are only still two points from getting into that zero position. There's still two teams, I think, without a win. Uh, this year, looking at my little league table, OK, I've, I've got one point uh, as well. So, I mean, just got to stay positive on the Bradford, I think, and uh, just keep towing away. Even though they get negative stats like that, it's not great going forward. But I think anybody, any team is capable of getting a win if they perform right on the day. Yeah, definitely. We, we know on the day that any team can win and it just takes that whole performance. And again, it's, a lot of it's down to the confidence. Uh, oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm leaning on Griffo. I am getting a bit close. Sorry, man. I didn't close. 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 I didn't Voice permitting. Oh, spitting over everybody. Voice permitting. <laughs> main man will take the field for the first time. That's pretty bad that I've got Simo spitting on me one side, Jones is spitting on me the other. Good feels. And you're leaning all over him. <laughs> so, yeah, this week uh, Simmons is going to be doing the match today and I'll see if my voice gets better. So, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to give it to Huddersfield coming out. Oh, he's out. Like, Bradford and Bradford. Everyone, Huddersfield. Boo, Huddersfield. And obviously, I know a few of the Huddersfield lads, so like, Big Earl's got rubbish girly hair, want to make songs up and sing I can, I can imagine he's going to get really upset about that. Mate, I, when I run on the community shop, you what, Will? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> this is from Simo, who's uh, he's never really played the game, has he? Uh, he's, he's shot in everybody this week, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, come on, it. Got some testosterone in you, haven't you? Mate, right? I, I, I came back last week with my, my, my comeback game last week for, for Leo's Rugby Union. Did you have yeah. where you play you play centre? Yeah. For you, Mike. Big cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do <don't> know. <laughs> He's going to have it next week. Let's get through his games. Uh, moving on, the last one, the tie of the round. Uh, Castleford 36, Wigan 31. What a result. Massive 22 24 at half time. 12 try thriller. First home win for, Wig uh, for Castleford in Wigan in eight years. Uh, with a last minute Luke Dawn try. Uh, Exciting game all the way through. It was to and fro. You know how, how difficult it is to play there, Jones. Obviously, Castleford and, and Leeds ties are, are normally the it's their their Challenge Cup game <laughs> or their Grand Final game. They always turn it on. Uh, the jungle is a great atmosphere, isn't it? Mate, it's uh, my it's what I envisage of hell being like to go to. <laughs> I, you go to Cass, right? It's been raining all week, and you, you drive through pools up way there, and there'll still be water in pitch. And you get on there, it's just knee deep in mud. It's like playing under eights. Uh, but do you know what? I love Cast for the fact that it's a proper rugged ground. Yeah. Uh, you get there, it stinks a deep beat. There's two toilets that all stink. I think Kev Brown uh, mentioned it last week. And uh, you get out there, and you, know, you look at the size of the pitch. It's like really spongy all the time, uh, which is a great ability to pitch to play on. Uh, but like the 40 metre lines are sort of five metres long or something like that. So proper old school rugged pitch. They've got them great fans. I remember I've got a few bricks from the coach at Cast on my own, and had to drive back in a convertible coach. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, mate, it's, it's, always, it's always tough to go there. I've lost a few games, uh, played in thunderstorms. I remember doing a bit with uh, Radio Leeds there, and floodlights fell down, went to empty one of the stands. You know, it's like hell, mate. And uh, the cast team are, are like the, well, almost like devils at the minute, in, in the sense that they're turning everybody over, playing really well. Trust the bits for them. Just wonder what everybody thought about. I know there's a lot of friends of Mickey McLaurin in here, Miss Hove included, I think he's a nice lad. Bro, Dixon's jaw. Um, got, has he got a couple of matches? I don't know, yeah, I, I just seen it today on, uh, on um, Sky Sports News, he's been uh, cited for break for a high tackle, I didn't realise he broke his jaw. But yeah, but apparently, yeah. Ah, he'll probably get a run now, so. <laughs> ah, this bone in your body, apparently. Is it's it? Perfect. Yeah, his jaw. I know, it's got the biggest one. <laughs> biggest one I don't say you should know that. Best jaw break <laughs> I've, I've seen this year. Those, Best jaw break I've seen this year is, you know, the boxer from Scotland. The, uh, the champ, he just lost his, he got, he got, he, he, during the fight, punched, broke his jaw and he kept fighting. Wow. Broke his jaw in the third round and he won on points after 12 rounds. That's hard. That's hard. Also, I'd like to uh, wish Tom Wynham as well. He's, he's broken his ankle uh, at the weekend, so... No way, he's in my fantasy team. Go ahead. So you need to make some substitutions, eh? Big time. 
a uh, big whole lot to mention this weekend. Milford are playing at Hinley. Yeah, Challenge, Challenge, Challenge Cup. Cup. Challenge Challenge Cup. Cup. So Friday they're going to be handing flyers out. Big shout out to Dave Bray, Charlie Bray, everyone down at Milford. Best club in the world. And Stanley as well. But um, yeah, they're playing this weekend. Going to be a great game. With Halifax, Scott. Uh, Hull Dockers away. We've got East Leeds at Sheffield down at the Allerton. <laughs> well, East Leeds have got more fans than you. <laughs> they had. They played, they played Warriors last week at East Leeds. The first game back on the new pitch, apparently they had hundreds there. Big yeah. following, big following. Like East Leeds is, is bonkers for the rugby league, isn't it? Straight off, isn't it? They're yeah. crackers, they have coaches and none Yeah, it's like, oh, get to and throw them in the area. Yeah, get to the ball. It's nice. Yeah, it's Danny Maguire's Danny album. Yeah. Yeah, he says he's from East End Park, but it's not skipped to. It's what I've made of it. It's worse, mate, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, who are we going next to tune, Taya? We've got some games to play. Griff, you're going to play the game tonight. I'll have a go, what is it? It's basically, we've got a few games to play, but the one you're going to play is called Try Me. You versus Keith, right? Right. Because... The loser can send a tweet off, off the other person's Twitter. It's got to stay on for four. Are you on Twitter? I'm on Twitter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not a cat in hell's chance I'm wearing Simo anyway. Yes, we are. I Is don't it? think so. You better not you win then. You better not you win then. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really going to take it off me, isn't it? <laughs> can you write a show? Right, I am retiring now, Jules. You can take over. I love you all.